hello there, fancy seeing you here. Okay. I feel like I'm having a bit of a Trisha Paytas post breakup meltdown kind of thing happening in my life right now. And that's fine because we all deal with things differently, right? Thankfully, I have this wonderful platform called YouTube to vent to because I've just been finding that I don't have the energy to write in my diary like I used to. And, um, fuck my life. Fuck my life. Fuck my fucking life. I'm 20 years old. I started off the fucking first day of my 20 year oldness hungover and wasted and then getting back with my toxic boyfriend me and him got back together like fucking four times or something so that one time the summer and then the other time the summer and then the time then, oh my god, I don't even fucking know, honestly. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I know that it is almost 1 a.m. I should be asleep. But I'm not asleep. I'm making a huge thing in the tub. is that he's probably not gonna change it might look like he's changed a bit but has he really changed no and you know I was thinking earlier like you know I, I think I would I would wait maybe like a few months for him you know like oh yeah I'll, I'll wait for you like to get better to get on your feet to get a job but but the change that he needs to go through to really get better and to be like good boyfriend material is gonna take him probably like years and I don't got that time on my hands like I I don't I just don't like I'm not gonna wait years for somebody um by that time I plan to have had either one really good relationship or be in one really good relationship or have had a few boyfriends. I don't know man, like I I'm not gonna wait for one single guy to change, like And it's funny with how okay I am lately. Actually, that's not true. Like, I feel like right now I'm still kind of numb to it and I haven't gotten used to the fact that like we're really done for good, pretty much. I feel like I've almost not really accepted it or something. Um, and I, I think part of me is like, oh yeah, like, everything's gonna be fine between you guys and you know he's gonna find a job and he's gonna become happy and he's gonna not be a shitty boyfriend but that's never gonna happen folks okay look at the fucking like dark circles under my eyes and like look at that okay that doesn't look healthy to me that looks like a lot of sleepless nights and at least the teeth are somewhat white but like Look at that, like under the eyes. Do you see that? I see that. 
to me that looks like stress and like you need to cut some stress out of your life aka your fucking boyfriend out all relationships are sad and they don't work out because somebody's gonna get hurt somebody's gonna feel it more than the other probably in this case I think it's gonna be me because I really did care about him I do care about him and I don't know if I love him honestly we've said we love each other a few times but I don't think that's really love what, what we had. It's something. It's like maybe the beginnings, the very early beginnings of love, but I think love is much deeper than what we had. I think we just... We found each other at kind of a weird time of our life. My mom was explaining to me like maybe he was my shadow side or something like he was the reflection of my shadow side because apparently my, according to my mom's sister and like I should just fucking face up to it apparently I'm manipulative sometimes and I use people sometimes and I, I do admit to that I have definitely manipulated and used people and some of those people have been my friends in the past and like uh, that's something I've done and I've stolen from people and I have abused people and maybe I needed a taste of my own medicine in this relationship maybe the universe was giving me signs of you need to fucking stop it, you little fucking bitch. Like, you need, this is what you are doing to other people. Like, you, you are just as manipulative, just as much of a thief, just as much of a liar. And maybe that is what the universe was trying to teach me with this relationship, and it hit me hard. And when they told me that the other day, like, I really made a re realization, like, holy shit. You know, maybe I did need this guy, but it's not for reasons you would think. And it's hard to admit that, but I need to become a better person. And I know that being in the program that I'm in at school right now is just going to do that. It is going to force me to become a better human being, a more empathetic, compassionate human being, a more respectful human being, a more trustworthy human being. In my career that I am going to be heading into in the next year after I'm in this program, it is all about compassion and care and helping people who can't help themselves. It's like, um, it's, you know, you can't, it's a very selfless career, um, being a personal support worker, and like, it's very along the lines of nursing, and like, helping people, nursing people back to health, like doing things that people can't do for themselves because you have the knowledge and the training and the skills and everything. I am going to have to learn to be a better person or I'm not gonna be able to do the job. And maybe this lesson that happened from my boyfriend, like ex-boyfriend, um, maybe it happened just at the right time. Because you gotta look at every relationship that you've had as like somewhat of a lesson you know, and you gotta look at everybody you meet in life as like learning something from them. It's just, I guess it's sad because 
it won't be like it was. And we did share great times together, wonderful times together. But I know one day once I become that better person that I know I can be, that I know I need to prove to people to be, that I will find somebody to match that and somebody a thousand times better than the guy I was with who was sh pretty shitty to me most of the time. He has his own struggles and I can't help him and he can't help me and so why would I be with a person who can't help me and who isn't going to help me grow but instead make me have setbacks in my life and that's what I realized with him and I just, I just want to grow. I want to become an amazing human being who does amazing things for people. And that is what I'm going to do. I'm just really feeling it right now. I'm, I'm feeling the emotions hardcore, man. Like, you can probably even see it in my fucking face. I'm just... I am a wreck, an emotional wreck right now. It's lots of ups and downs. But it's also a relief at the same time. It's like, holy fuck. It's just, this is what I need. So, On to better things, folks. On to better fucking things. And no, I'm not high or drunk. I'm just really tired and I should probably not be in the bath. I should probably be in bed, but I thought to myself, you're stinky and dirty, you haven't bathed since yesterday. Get the fuck out of bed. Clean yourself, clean your face, clean your body before going to sleep. So that you wake up clean-ish and can start your day off. Don't fucking wait and not be clean. Just get clean. Be fucking clean, bitch. Just get clean. Clean yourself. That's part of self-care. Letting yourself be dirty is not self-care. Like, think of yourself as a baby, okay? Or your body's a temple, but like, I like to try and think of myself as a baby and and if I wouldn't do something to a tiny little newborn baby, why would I do it to myself? So, you know, when you're brand new and born, like, you need to be gentle with them and, and give them perfectly good, healthy food, which is breast milk, which is the best thing they can have. And, and you want to make sure that you are giving them proper rest and they need to be able to have that to grow and to be healthy and so you need to try and think of yourself as if you're treating a baby and like think of the ways like would you let a baby go to sleep disgusting and dirty and stinky no you're gonna clean the baby <laughs> all right i i'm tired i need to go to sleep but thank you for, if you've listened this far thank you for listening to my thoughts it's, it's nice to know that there are people out there who are living their own lives and have their own troubles in life and have their own personal problems and they're on their own pathway and maybe they've gone through similar things or maybe they don't understand what the fuck I'm talking about but it's nice to know that there's people out there you want to hear me and want to listen even though I don't know you you're you're a being you're a human and you're so complex and beautiful and, and you're listening to me and that's like holy shit that that's, that's amazing that's big that people are listening to me even if it's one or two people like holy fuck hi